525. What day is today? Saturday, March 5th, 1994. This is Robert P. Major, Hugh T. Major, and William something. D. Major? D. William D. D Major. Uncle Bud, Dad's brother, is here, and he'll be sitting here in a minute. Bud is visiting Dad for his 76th birthday, um, and I've decided to put all as much as I can of some conversation on videotape to try and get some information about the family history, who's related to who, who the relatives are, um, where everybody came from, who married who, who, what kids are who, and just so that I can start building some some family trees and that sort of thing. And, and somebody can start keeping track of the major family relatives because we don't have it all very well laid out anywhere for anybody. Aunt Lizzie uh, was the family historian. She died before she ever managed to put it all into good form that could be passed on. So that's my purpose. Whether we'll accomplish it or not remains to be seen. <laughs> Is it still running? It's going to run for a couple hours, so that right? you can just forget that it's even there. I got it. You see, we're all teetotally. Yeah, that's right. These are all non-alcoholic bush yes. beers. There's no alcohol in any of this. There's no alcohol in the pitchers of beer we drank down at the, uh, under the bridge, fish no. fry place this no. afternoon. Whatever the name of the place is. Uh, the bikers are in town. The bikers are in town. Mike couldn't make it today because he he's in law, first year of law school in Gainesville, and he next weekend is his first anniversary, so this weekend he had to study or something like that, so he couldn't be here. I'm sure he'll see this tape someday and deeply regret his absence, but Mike, you had a chance to be here. And you, you missed it. You blew it. <laughs> And Jack Major was supposed to be here today, too, but Jack had to go back and put an engine in or something. So he'll be back tomorrow, but he's missing the videotape excitement. So <sighs> When Lucy Grandpa fired boys, the, uh, the house they bought was uh, bought from a Union soldier. Uh, the Union soldier got his... Uh, Land grant from the Civil War. Bud, you need to come over here and sit where I'm sitting and Wait say all these things. Oh, I'm not goddamn it. You just, you just got to start spitting it out. You don't even have to write it down. Just tell the story, and I, at some, and I'll, I'll prompt you. At some future date, I'll sit down with this tape and and go through it real slow and write down all the names and keep track of who's who and all that stuff. But is it on now? It's on now. Just sit down and you know, relax. Forget you want you, you want a beer? Uh, no. I don't know. This is this is William Major down from the snows of New York State, and sitting here in sunny Daytona with my brother and my nephew, and uh, we're going through the family history of uh, where we come from, our roots, and uh, here we go the best I can. Uh, Bill Robert in and, and uh, our history. Married in Ireland, Mary Ann O'Neill and William Major uh, come to this country. Now, what county were they in when they got married? Do you know uh, where they came from, what county or I, what city? I can't, uh, I, I can't go, I, 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 O'Neill would have to come from County Ulster. Ulster? Yeah, and the Majors, as you know, on the map of Ireland, there isn't a major there in any of the counties. So we don't know exactly where the William Major came from. He could he could come from any county. Uh, could he have been from outside of Ireland? Could he have been from one of the English Isles? There's a possibility. Isles? There's a possibility that uh, he uh, he come back from France because at the Battle of the Boyne. Uh, the majors were with the, the Catholic king against William.
William of Orange, and um, uh, let's see, uh, William of Orange was married, uh, his daughter was married to, to uh, King Le uh, William of Orange, that was James's daughter. And so the battle, the Irish were, the Catholics were, went in the battle, and they thought it was going to kill William of Orange, and King James called the battle off because he didn't want to make his daughter a widow. And then the tide turned, and William of Orange won the battle of the Boyne. King James uh, boarded the ship and headed for France, and they say the majors were wooden. They fled. And they fled to France, and I believe the majors come back to France after the troubles are over. But, uh, so this is ancient Irish history. This is what this you're talking back, about. and it's possibly that uh, that's when the majors come back to Ireland afterwards. Okay. And uh, can I answer so, just? A, uh, I remember Lizzie telling me one time about what you just mentioned that uh, our names originally was Major, a French name, capital M-A, capital J-O-R. Oh, really? And uh, when they moved to Ireland, it was shortened to Major. Now, uh, this might be true or false, I don't know. Okay, but Lizzie is, is Dad and Bud's aunt. She is the sister of their father, who is Patrick Major, right? Her name was is was Elizabeth Major, and she was the daughter of William Major, who married Marianne O'Neill. And, and, and that comes uh, <clears throat> to um, ten children. So you said Marianne O'Neill and William Major married in Ireland, had no kids in Ireland, and no children in Ireland. Left Ireland because left, of the potato famine. Left Ireland because yes, uh, you could say the potato famine, or because just there just wasn't anything to eat. The conditions, and, uh, and they had. Uh, Wayman's brother Charlie was in this country, and he. Is that the Charles that was referred to by Charles? All uh, right, that's the other side of the Major family. That's what you were just seen on TV there. So the William of the William Major that was your grandfather, uh, it was, their was, grandfather was brother to Charles. Brothers, Major. two brothers, the Charles Major and and William Major are brothers. Okay, so but, that's that's the Charles Major side of the family we just heard about on the yeah, on the videotape. You just seen it. Okay, there's a videotape that was uh, we just watched that was uh, the Irish Connection. It was a historical discussion of Skinny Atlas and Skinny Atlas Falls and uh, Charlie Major and and, uh, and all of those folks were on the tape and describing Skinny Atlas and such. So they came up, so William and Charles both came over at the same time? No, Charles was here. He's already been established. He may, he may have come uh, Ten years earlier, five years earlier, and he had already been established there, and he sent for his brother William. Okay. Because they were still having a hard time over there, and to, and he sponsored them to come to this country. Okay. And did then, you need a sponsor in those days? You did, did well, you come over? I, I guess you didn't. I don't believe you did, but they, he made he uh, made way for him. You know what I mean? He, yeah. Uh, do you know? Do you know if plays a trail? Do you know if they came through Ellis Island? Yes, they did. Are there names no, on that? I, I, no, I don't believe they come through Ellis Island because I don't think Ellis Island was established then. My mother comes through Ellis Island, but I don't think any of them did. This is the time of the Civil War, you know, that's the way back. So your mother, Mamie, I know her as Mamie. That's right. She was born in Ireland? She was born in Ireland, yes. And you, But your father was born in this country? Yeah. Okay. All the majors Well, we'll born. get to your mother in a minute, but... Uh, uh, I'm trying to make sure I ask every question I need to know about concerning your grandfather, who would be William. His brother was Charles. Do you know who their father was, William and Charles' father was? Okay. That's an Ireland. All right, so William, William Major married Marianne O'Neill in Ireland, and they came to this country together, married and settled in upstate New York and skinny out. Oh, they were married in Ireland. They were married in Ireland, they right. came here. And then they, they, uh, they bought the, where the homestead is, the uh, major homestead, they bought that, and that was a, a, a Civil War land grant to a soldier, a Union soldier, 
and my grandfather bought that land off the Union soldier and built the house himself. Now, which house is this? The one that Bob used to live in? This or the, the one, one that Aunt Lizzie lived in. Oh, the one that Aunt Lizzie lived in was yeah. originally grandpa uh, or uh, your uh, grandfather's house? Yes. I didn't know that. Well, you don't know. <laughs> that was where the, the major family homestead that, began. That's the homestead there, yeah. Aunt Lizzie lived. So your dad grew up, he was a kid in that house. That's right. So Lizzie was living in the house that when she, when she died, she was living in the same house that she was a she child was born in. in. She, she was, was born, born in that house. Born in the house and died there. My grandmother died there. She lived there. It was the homestead. Your grandmother was Mary Ann O'Neill. Yeah. Okay. If, if you were was in that house and you sit in the dining room, you can see that my father and wrote his name with a diamond ring in the window. Patrick Major. <laughs> okay, well, I, I never knew that about that house. So. I don't know how it could have housed all of the members of that family. Because there were ten kids. Yeah. <clears throat> back of the, the barn and back of the house, so you know what the playhouse, so you played in as a kid. That Lizzie used to call the chicken coop. My, well, yes, she called the chicken coop, but my father took that old barn, he tore half of the town, it used to be a cow barn there, he tore it half, the cow barn off, because it was starting to deteriorate, and saved the front part of it, the little house, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to keep the cow there, and they kept chickens there. And then where the trouble was, when I was telling you about the two get poisoned by the chicken feed, the neighbors, I think, were who had the little thing there. Myers, was it Myers? Uh, I think Myers lived there. I don't think the whole thing lived there then. Like according to Aunt Lizzie, you know, and I'm quoting Aunt Lizzie what I'm saying. And uh, the, the neighbor poisoned the bag of chicken feed, uh, and uh, the kids, the two little babies, got down in there and uh, ate the chicken feed, and they got poisoned. And nobody knew what was wrong with them until later on they figured this is what happened. And they both died. And they were, what were their names? The, the two that died? Uh, Edward was. Uh, uh, I think that, yeah, they, they, were, uh, they were twins. Uh, Edward and Frank. Edward and Frank were twins? Yeah. Were they identical twins or fraternal? Identical twins, yeah. As far as I know. Okay. This is, this is, this is word passed down. Sure, no, I understand. Yeah. 